Hi and welcome to this Markplex Program 7. This is a series of tutorials and programs all to do with TradeStation Easy Language Programming. If you're not part of our email mailing list then please go to markplex.com and you'll see the, uh, the sign up form just uh, on the right of the home page. So today we're going to be creating or I have created a new program which is available for sale at markplex.com and this really comes after back in uh, program two I created a pivot line confluence show me study and the idea behind this was to find where pivot lines congregated and the idea being that where they congregated or where there was confluence that maybe there was some uh, support or resistance at that point. So having done that, a lot of people contacted me and uh, were really more interested in just having a flexible uh, program to draw traders' pivots. And uh, so that's what uh, we've created here uh, in program seven. So let me just uh, go through and explain how it works and uh, show you some of the inputs. So for example, here we have a pound dollar 30 minute chart and uh, just say for instance you were interested in calculating pivots based on a period between 0, 0,400 and 12, so that's uh, 4 in the morning and midday. And you can see here what the program is doing is highlighting those bars in cyan. It's actually just drawing some drawing objects on the bars between high and low. And what it's doing is working out the high of that period. You can see here the high happens on that bar and that's drawn as a indicator here at the top. And the low of this period, which looks like it's most probably this bar here, which is drawn there in the green, you can see. And then it also finds the close of the period. So this period we're talking about going between 0, 0,412. So you'll see that this bar here is actually the 12 o'clock bar that closes at 154041 and you'll see that that is the uh, the value of this blue line here so what the program then does is draw calculates pivots now it uses three different methods of calculating the pivots and uh, these methods are explained on the uh, the page to do with this program at markplex.com uh, just go to programs and scan down until you get to program seven. So let's go back to the program and what I want to do is show you just go through the inputs and explain those briefly and then we'll apply some slightly different inputs and uh, um, see how they affect the chart. So to start with start time and end time they define the session that you are interested in now you might wish to use a standard session or there might be some period of time that you specifically want to analyze and draw pivots based on so you've got uh, complete flexibility there in terms of start and end time uh, now this program does actually quite a lot of calculations so what i've done is um, enter the date here which I've called date to start and what that does it means it will only start calculating the pivots after a particular date and it may need um, a little bit more time even after that date before it actually starts calculating the pivots. Pivot type uh, 1 classic, 2 woody, 3 camarilla then you can define the colors of all the pivot levels uh, dark red and so forth you can change those to whatever you like show high low close this uh, determines whether we draw the, uh, the the lines that I showed earlier which are the high low and close for a particular period decimal places for the uh, the pound dollar is five but for maybe an equity like IBM that would probably you probably want that to be two and then the final two inputs are just to do with uh, uh, testing the program and uh, so uh, you probably don't really need to use those but uh, if you do download the program it is completely unprotected and you can go in there and have a look at how I have programmed it okay so let's just go back and uh, we were looking at between 12 and 4 in the morning but what if you want to start at a time today see uh, 2200 hours at 10 o'clock uh, and end at say 10 the next morning well let's just do that and let's just see what uh, what differences we get. So now you've, the first thing you'll notice is that the bars are no longer cyan, they're a, a blue color and that just indicates that we're starting a period today 
and ending tomorrow. So, uh, for example, you can see here this is the uh, the 2200. That's 10 o'clock, and uh, we continue right through to the this bar here, which is the 10 o'clock tomorrow bar. And again, what we do at the, as soon as the period ends, we work out what the high was of that period, what the the low was of that period, and what the close of was of that period, and then we calculate the uh, the pivots. You can see here just to the right of the chart, another period has ended, and we're starting to calculate pivots for the uh, for the next period. So that's one option. You can uh, you can vary your times. What about uh, if we just go back and uh, set up a time period where the uh, the start and end time are on the same day so let's go uh, example 9 through to 1600 but this time let's just assume that we're using woody pivot so I'm going to change that to 2 I'm going to say OK and let's just see how that affects us well again we're going back to the the scion bars you remember first bar we were talking about was the 9 and the last bar we were talking about here was the 1600 bar and you can see again we're calculating the high of that period, low of that period and close of that period but the way that the woody uh, period uh, pivots work is we need the open of the session so we actually calculate pivots from the open you can see here that new pivots have been calculated as soon as we get to this open so what we're doing here is calculating these pivots based on this high, this low and this open and then we draw those pivots right through to the next uh, start period uh, start time then we start recalculating pivots based on the open of that period and um, the high low uh, high high and low indicated by these the red and green lines respectively of the uh, the previous period under calculation we can also do the same thing uh, that we did a moment ago we don't need to have the start and end on the same day we could for instance start the period at 2300 hours and maybe finish it at the, day the next day but still leave the uh, the pivot type as two which is a uh, woody pivot and let's just see what that gives us so let's just first of all check the bars so this is the 2300 hour bar and the end bar here is the 1200 and uh, what happens is we start recalculating new pivots as soon as we know the open of the uh, the next period. So that's a very brief uh, introduction to some of the capabilities of this. Uh, the program will take account of if you put in times for which there is not a bar. So for instance, uh, let's put in a, um, this is a half hourly bar, so there is no 20, uh, a 20, 2.45 so let's just try putting in a start bar of 22.45 and uh, what we should see is that the program will behave exactly the same in other words it calculates that the 2300 bar is the first bar after this uh, time for which there is no bar and uh, we'll do that now this program also will work for uh, tick charts so let me just find a suitable uh, tick and uh, let's say, I don't know, 500. So let's just see what that gives us. Now with ticks, obviously the, uh, the times don't necessarily um, happen on an exact timing. So we're, uh, if you recall here, we've got a start time of 2245. The first bar we're picking up here is actually 2251. If you look at the previous bar, it's 2243. So we're finding the the um, the first bar after or equal to the start time. And then if we go to the end of this period here, oh, actually we haven't got to. Uh, looks like we haven't got to the end of that period there. Let's go to the end of the period here, and um, let me just zoom in so we can make sure it's the final bar. You can see here that that bar. The, uh, the timestamp of that is 11.53 so that is the uh, the final bar before we get here to the 12.01 the end time being 1200 so uh, this is taken as the uh, the final bar there in calculating pivots for that period so that's a very brief introduction to program 7 I hope you find it useful